Introduction of cables from the wall is done after removal of the appropriate cable entries. In order to increase safety and security of the distribution board, the board is installed in two stages, using screws and snap fittings. The surface area of the cable entry flange is largest in this type of distribution board, and amounts to 40 times 235 mm. Description of the cables is simplified, thanks to the engraved alphanumeric markings. The recess box in the distribution board is fitted with 21 cable holders. The shape of the holders helps to stabilize cables using clamp bands. The number and arrangement of the holders vary, depending on the width of the distribution board used. T-shaped holders facilitate installation by ensuring that the clamp bands do not slip, and in this way, secure cables in relation to the distribution board. After fixing the cables, it is easy to mark the locations for openings to be cut in the cable entry flanges. After marking the area taken by the cables, the appropriate part of the flange should be cut out. The design, as well as the materials used for the cable entry flanges, enable easy cutting of openings, for example with a utility knife. The recess box has thinner areas, and ribbing in the side, and rear walls for the introduction of conduits and cables. Up to 10 openings can be made in the rear wall of the flush mounted box. Their size, number and location is optimized for a typical flush mounted wiring installation. The arrangement of cables inside the distribution board depends on the shape of the recess box. Cable clamps fitted along the lateral areas enable rapid installation of successive cable connections. The front panel has been thought through right down to the smallest detail, to facilitate easy installation and use.